What's more important to God? That he be worshipped or that he be loved? Does God care more about our obedience or does he care about our hearts? Well, let me ask you this. To those of us who are parents, do you care more that your children obey you or that they love you? Now, it seems like the right answer here is that they love you, right? Because after all, that, that, that's what's really important. But it's a little more complicated than just that. Because we love our children so much that we want them to obey the rules that we lay out for them. So that that will protect them. So that they will live a long, healthy, and happy life. So maybe it's more important that they obey us than that they love us. But, you know, then again, if our children only obey us because they're afraid of us, because we have drilled the rules into their heads that home is not safe unless you follow the rules, or if you don't follow the rules that you no longer are going to be a part of this family or welcome in this household, then really no relationship there at all. And isn't that kind of the point in the first place? You see, the more we go down this rabbit trail of obedience versus love with our children, we realize that those two things are interconnected. The same thing is true with God. And it's interesting because I think a lot of times when we want to think about the heart of God, we want to focus on either or. We want to focus either on God's judgments or we want to focus on God's mercy without seeing that they're interconnected. Like there's something inside of us that just cries out for justice when we see something that's not fair in this world. But man, without God's mercy, where would any of us be? God loves us. And that love for us compels his mercy and forgiveness of us. In the same way that you would be compelled to forgive your child when they break your house rules, when they wrong you, when they may even harm or hurt you. You want to forgive them because you love them. But you can't just have love without justice. Without justice, there is no real love. I heard a Christian apologist once say that you can judge somebody without loving them, but you cannot love someone without justice. Don't believe me? Consider this. Would it be just, would it be considered loving For God to allow for sin and evil to go on in this world forever? Would it be loving for a God to allow death and murder and anger and hatred and disease and illness and cancer forever? Just to go on and on and on. Would it be loving of you? To allow your children to do whatever they want to do. Just because it feels good. Just because they think that that's what's best for them. All the while you know that it leads to death. Now that wouldn't be very loving. It is God's love for us that compels his justice for the world. You can't have real love without justice. 